Dave Tesla fans, back here with another video. This time, I'm just going to basically play around in downtown Ottawa, capital of Canada. We're smack in the middle of downtown. Uh, all the high rises are here. Traffic uh, is weird. It's all one ways in a whole bunch of directions. Uh, yeah, anyways, it's, it's gonna stress FSD. Not much more to say than that. So let's just uh, start it up and see how she goes. So like I was saying, it's a lot more uh, complex here. Basically every road feels like it's a, a one-way street. And uh, obviously a lot of crazier drivers. Never really tested it so much downtown Ottawa. Here and there. Uh, little streets here and there, but no hardcore tests like this. Uh, hopefully she does well. I'm fully expecting to do a bunch of takeovers. You know, the weather's nice now here in Canada construction uh, everywhere detours everywhere let's see if fsd is is up to the task now turn right onto lion street north So right there was very, very well done. So even just coming into the turn, we had kind of the impromptu barriers uh, that the Tesla had to go around and they were maybe, I don't know, four inches tall. So Tesla saw those or FSD saw those and reacted. And then it knew that it had to make the turn, get over in the far lane to make this left turn, which it didn't wait until the very last minute to do it. It did it immediately, which I love to see. there it slowed down for that person kind of halfway going across gave it some juice to get uh, through that it was definitely uh, confused there a little bit just got to get over in the right lane here to make the right turn yeah good job Tesla now turn right all right to well done obviously when you're downtown you got to be a little bit more uh, aggressive as a driver to kind of make sure you get in uh, and the Tesla was definitely a lot more aggressive there to make that happen. So that was great to see. Pretty busy going on right now. I think we have a government strike going on in Canada right now. And Ottawa obviously being the nation's capital, the government center of, of Canada. Um, so we, we have tons of people on strike everywhere. And to make it even more complicated, we have a poutine fest going on this weekend. It starts today. Uh, a little bit of hesitation there. Yeah, so we have poutine fest, which is just over here. So what's more Canadian than capital of Canada, poutine fest, and, and I guess striking government workers too. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, that was a pretty complex situation there. It handled it very well. It needed a little prompt with the accelerator there. It got stuck on the corner of, you, you could see how people were being labeled as blue. Whenever people are labeled as blue, that's basically the Tesla's waiting for them. And uh, yeah, I could tell that some people were acting in a way that made the FSD hesitate a bit. In 200 meters, your destination uh, will be on the left. Okay, so destination we're gonna make a new one here again we're just dinking around downtown no let's go here there. and trip there 
yeah, we're just dinking around randomly. I'm just gonna be picking random locations and see how FSD gets us there. But it's, uh, you know, so far so good. Honestly, better than I thought. In 200 meters, turn right onto Somerset Street West. So this lane ends. And it's got to get in. Wow, it's uh, being <laughs> very aggressive there. So it, it pushed its way uh, definitely in there. That person did not want to let us in. Understandably, we kind of left that completely last minute. But she did it. It's always a question of mine is once FSD becomes widespread once we have kind of the claimed robo taxi future um how many people will know that a tesla will stop for you and just sneak in and be rude on purpose you know at, at what scenarios are we all lined up because everyone waits and then people's like i'm not gonna wait because i see a tesla up there uh doing robo taxi so i'm gonna drive up and and force my way into it and knowing that FSD is going to stop. All right, so situations like that where we just saw where the Tesla being extremely aggressive. Um, yeah, I don't know how that's going to work with with the future, but you know, that's kind of nice to see. All right, we got a right turn. It's being a little hesitant. You can see as soon as people are blue. Um, it slows right down, but she did it. Nice getting uh, around that that truck there. Uh, or through the yellow light, yeah. I like it, I like it a lot. But it's uh, it's hyper attentive for all the uh, pedestrians walking around, which is good to see, obviously, in a beta program. But you can see how it's slightly getting tripped up here and there, with people being labeled as blue. It doesn't it doesn't know what it wants to do with them, how to prioritize them. It's confused by their movement of if if they're going to get in the way or not. So I mean, it's better for it to err on the side of caution, obviously. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's good. That's what I like to see. Interesting scenario here. It's nice that it waited, but now it's clear it needs to start again. It's hesitant still, but it has gone. Really giving a lot of room for this biker in front of us. Oh, that's interesting too. Biker moves out of the way and it moves up. Nice. So in that scenario, I would have loved to see it uh, commit to the intersection, which it didn't do. So because it didn't commit to the intersection, once the light turned yellow and we had our gap to turn, it didn't take it because we were already at this line. So we missed basically a light cycle because the FSD did not want to commit to that intersection, which I find very odd. I don't think I've seen it not commit to an intersection before. We'll see what it does as soon as this turns green, if it inches forward enough to commit. So the light's green and it's not committing to it, but Here we go, yeah, okay. Gotta get over into the right lane. Yeah, good job. Nicely done.
nice to see it move out of the way of those uh, kind of bike lane dividers, concrete barriers there. And you can see when you uh, look around that it, it actually puts a 3D model up on the screen, gives it some kind of depth, if you will, right to it. To used to get around the barrier and then turn right. Yeah, well done. Left over. Come on, Tesla. There you go. Hey, well done. Another one-way street. Here we go. Destination reached. The destination is on the left. Perfect. Okay, so we're just gonna pick another. Let's go smack downtown. Back in the high rises here. In 200 meters, turn left on Second Street. Let's see what it does here. I wonder if it's gonna be able to go through this gap here. They're letting us in. It's inching forward. We had a gap, the traffic's gonna go. Oh, it's letting us. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it was slow, but uh, no, it did it. We were left the gap by a nice driver, and the Tesla took the gap, so that was nice to see. You can see it's just one-way roads, signs everywhere. Everything's a one-way now. So this is an interesting scenario where it's a left turn creeping wall where all the Tesla has to worry about is the traffic coming from that direction. Good, good job. Yeah, there's your gap. There you go. Nicely done. Oh, and you're gonna slow down for this person? Yeah. Nice. Wants to get in the right lane, but there's a parked car there, so it's gonna have to get back. And then, no, and then back again, because that's got a park lane. And then it can make, it keeps wanting to get in the right lane, but the, all the cars are parked in that lane here. Um, it seems to have maybe learned and to stop trying to get into that right lane. But it, it hasn't highlighted like it wants to. Again, this, this has got a parked car here. Go around it. Yeah, <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> Very aggressive. But uh, no, I did it. Interesting left turn where it's, it wants to get all the way to the left, which has parked cars. Yeah, a little sketch, but I mean, it's it's doing it. It's handling it very well. It's just interesting to look at the behavior of how it wants to uh, go all the way in the left lane in that particular turn. And then before, you know, I like to see it get into the proper turning lane way ahead of schedule so it doesn't have to, you know, worry about traffic. It's already committed to it. But in scenarios with that, with, with parked cars being used in that lane, and you kind of have to wait until the last minute and then yeah a bit confusing for the tesla for sure but it's handled it great this one has got to turn left there's a bit of a detour here turn left onto Street. or construction i should say Gave itself a little bit extra room. I don't know if you noticed the steering wheel kind of jolt, so it pushed itself away from that. This guy wants to get in. Let's see if Tesla lets people in. Uh, okay. I 
think this lane ends as well, or this lane has to turn left. Yeah. So it's going to have to get over in a right lane. It's going to have to let this guy in and go in a right lane. And then the road ahead is just straight up closed. Let's see what it does here. No, definitely don't go in the parking. <laughs> okay, takeover required on that. It, it looked like it wanted to take over or go into the parking. Um, yeah, I just didn't let it do that. Maybe it would have corrected it, but it, it definitely looked like it wanted to go into that parking structure which would have ended the trip right quick. All right, let's uh, first take over later than I thought it was gonna be. All right, carrying on. A bit of hesitation here. I don't know what it's, it wanted to stop. There's nothing here. <laughs> it like treated treated that as a stop sign but there was literally uh, nothing there I mean I, I let it do its thing there was nobody behind us so that's odd map data maybe was there ever a stop sign there if anybody uh, watching these videos uh, knows downtown better than I do um, was there a stop sign there at one point that's, that Tesla's just using map data on that? That was odd, for sure. Also at this current location, our stoplight that we're at, it's almost staggered. The right lane which turns right, the stop line's up here. Ours was further back. Uh, so it stopped at the proper stop line. Which is good. All right, it needs to go. It's got a person there. There's a bus there. Turn right onto Laurier Avenue West. Mm, okay, so it's in the far left-hand lane. It needs to get in the far right-hand lane because it's got a right-hand turn coming up here in 200 meters. It's not a lot of space. Let's see if it gets aggressive or not. Like it did before when it was trying to make lane changes. This lane also turns into one where like cars are just parked everywhere. So I would love to see it make the lane change now. It's doing it. Well done. Cones here preventing of it uh, getting in the lane that it wants to and it, it followed it perfectly. Needs to get over. I would have loved to see better like it follow the cones, but it did great. Here's an interesting one. It's gotta go right around this what's it doing calculating this no yeah no there's a car behind me oh 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 let's see let's see no you're putting me too close no i didn't like that sorry so that was a takeover it was really close to to that that parked uh truck there so i took over but it looked like it was figuring it out not quite there yet for that maneuver though all right let's just random random it up now turn right onto queen street Right hand lane doesn't need to stop. It's good. A little bit up on that curb there. That's fine. 
needs to go around this. Now turn right onto Lion Street North. Well done. Right hand turn, wait for the person. Yeah, well done. Get in the left. Maybe not all the way left, because again, that's uh, cars like to park there. Yeah, good. Okay, there's the turn. I'm gonna wait for this person to let them in. Yeah. Now turn left onto Slater Street. And left hand turn. You see how much more complex these maneuvers are for sure. And uh, it's, it really is impressive, honestly. Yeah, a few takeovers, but you know, you can see it's trying to figure it out. I wonder what would happen if I did leave it and let it just go in the parking garage. <laughs> Okay, so this one, I think we've already gone down this street. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's try and get a different way here. Oh, let's go on. There's a truck beside us. A bus, coach bus. So it's going to have to get in front of it and uh, get in the right lane. Which I would love to see happen now, now that we kind of drove ahead to give us the gap. Just got to turn right here, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Uh, a little bit jolty, but did it and it immediately wants to get in the right lane, which it's shitting. It should, it should get in the left because uh, cars are all parked here. Get over a lane. We'd love to see it. There's a car coming. Yeah, turn left. Yep, 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 yep. No. Yep. Ah, well done. I mean, it wasn't the smoothest maneuver, but it did it safely with cars coming up behind us. And it had to decide of like when to make the maneuver. Uh, I like that. I'm happy with that. Now it senses that a left hand turn. Whoa. It did not, uh, it looked like it did not see one of those barriers and wanted to go in that barrier. So that was a takeover to stop it from curbing my rims. All right. Let's go in the market. Let's try that. That's pretty complex. Go on the market and we'll call it a day. Now turn left we'll definitely be um, coming back here more and more. More patches, more downtown as you can see. This is about as complex as we can get in FSD in my area. Yeah, it's really good too at, at letting cars in and not like freaking out when a car uh, gets there, right? And this is interesting behavior too. You can tell this car wants to take a right and the Tesla's like, yeah, I, I know that you're gonna take a right, so I'm gonna go around you, which was is, yeah, it's very human behavior. But now that it's moved out of the way, we're kind of, our nose is taking up a second lane, so it would have been nice to, to see a correction. After the maneuver, the, the lead up was perfect, but once they moved out of the way, there was no uh, there was nothing past that to, to finish, to put the period on that, that maneuver.
So that one had a truck had the side doors open, and I was just making sure to see if it could see um, those side doors. It didn't look like it, it could no, register. I don't know if it has the ability to even show that on the display. So um, the question being is if the car or the truck is there, but whatever is hanging off the side of the truck could potentially, you know, smash a windshield. Um, would the Tesla move around that? What's the height needed for Tesla to read it as a problem? Nice wait for the pedestrians. See, that's where FSD really shines because it's a one way and the cars are um, coming from the left. My eyes are on the left to make sure it's safe. But then you have pedestrians coming across on the right. So it's almost like having a whole bunch of, of eyes uh, that the Tesla would not have gone, even though in my mind, if I'm looking left, I'd be like, yeah, it's, it's, it's clear. But the Tesla would be like, no, no, there's people coming. So that, that's great to see for sure. So it needs to make a left, but left is, is completely blocked off up here. Um, so there is the detour into this lane. You can look like it's trying to. No, I'm gonna have to take over and keep it in this lane. Yeah, you gotta stay in this lane. Yeah, okay. You can tell it was, it wanted to, but now that it's seeing the detour. Now turn left onto Elgin Street. Some like weird barrier up there, mid left turn. You can see it's displaying it, but it's still weird. I wonder what its reaction to that is gonna be. All right, we got the green light. It's hesitating a little bit, but it's good. It's got people crossing, so it's good that it's hesitating a little bit. Yeah, yeah. There you go, well done. Yeah, I just had like a camera overheat warning on these cameras. I don't know why they keep overheating like that. But anyways, so they could uh, turn off again at any minute. So I guess just uh, my final thoughts, uh, while I have camera functionality, uh, I mean, it's done great. There were some couple of takeovers, I think about three, three takeovers. Uh, one where I was trying to go into the parking garage, um, and then just a couple moves after that. Oh yeah, one where I was trying to... Yeah, another camera overheat. Anyways, impressed with, with downtown functionality so far. Obviously it's super complex. Um, we'll come back here again and again and again. I like what I see. Lots of improvements in general, lots of complex situations. Uh, with all that being said, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.